Hey guys, it's Nicole, aka Aorta King Quell, back again with another piece. Uh, this time it is Batgirl for the San Diego Comic Con souvenir book submission. Um, here's hoping I get in, crossing my fingers. <laughs> the submission is called for a 50th anniversary piece for Batgirl, so I decided to choose um, the Yvonne Craig version from the 60s Batman. TV show. I decided to break out my pen nibs for this one since I haven't used them in a long time. A long while. Um, it's kind of, it was kind of awkward to use them on my desk that um, kind of sits at an angle. It's one of those drafters desks. They happen to pick up at Goodwill for 20 bucks. Some of the inks that I used for this one has been the um, Windsor Newton um, Black India ink, some Dr. P.H. Martins that I used um, for her lips in magenta color, and I used a lot of um, acrylic um, pearlescent ink later for coloring in her outfit. It is basically watercolor for the rest of it, some watercolor pencil kind of type things, and then also what I didn't put in in this video since uh, my phone had, I didn't notice that my phone wasn't recording, which I explained in the last video, which you'll see like um, towards the end when I show the finished piece, that um, I didn't record myself lettering <laughs> and doing background um, decorations for it, unfortunately. Which is sadly what happens when you're rushing a piece and you don't realize that things are turned on <laughs> and you keep working because you want to you know, make that deadline have it done which I had like maybe um, less than 24 hours to do since um, I had to turn it in the next day <laughs> never doing that again next time I'm gonna make sure that I turn it in have a decent piece done well before deadline At the moment, I'm just uh, catching up on the new Mystery Science Theater 3000 that's on Netflix. Uh, which I'm really digging so far. I'm already on the last episode <laughs> while I'm doing, you know, the rest of the editing on this video. I'm gonna finish right after I stop recording all this um, audio, which this video goes on for like 10 minutes. I'm not sure if I want to talk for that long. I doubt it, because I don't think anyone wants to hear me ramble on for that long. I'm not overly proud with the way that her face came out, but as is what happens when you're rushing something you don't realize until it's way too late. Also, if you guys are ever interested in doing some watercolor, I would highly recommend this water brush. It is so helpful. And I bring it to pretty much um, every convention or event that I do when I'm doing commissions there. Because it just makes it so much easier than looking around my markers. Because <laughs> no one wants to do that. I only know some of my friends do, but it's like, why? Why do that when you can have sweet, sweet watercolors? Except, like, it doesn't even take up that much room. It is so amazing. I love it. Also very much in love with those Molotow um, paint pens. I could just blend everything really easy with those um, with that water brush and for highlights and everything. 
I probably take home way too many Starbucks napkins. Probably more than I should have. Now I have like a stockpile next to my desk of like napkins that I've saved from places that I can use for my watercolors. <laughs> uh, it gets kind of ridiculous. It'll never come up in the scan, but I had actually used a um, bronze-ish type ink for the outline of her hair. Yeah, I know it's not ever gonna come out. It doesn't even come out in the video. You can't even see it shine. Sad. <laughs> I knew he'd make use of those pencils. Got them off my friend. Thanks, Anna. Incoming Prolicity! I think it's funny that at first, since I started doing these videos, uh, some of my coworkers will watch it and they'll comment on it at work. I mean, like, that's a, such a foreign feeling. Like, I'm not used to people from uh, my work. You know, besides one of them, you know who you are. <laughs> uh, looking at my stuff when I'm, like, away from work. <laughs> that was weird. I don't know why. This is weird. But I'm glad that you guys enjoyed, so keep watching.
Phew, well that was exhausting. And that's pretty much towards the end of this video. And here is the finished piece. And I also did another piece, all in purple, for submission to the SDCC souvenir book. And if you enjoyed this piece, please like and subscribe. And also I have links to my social media accounts in the description below. Uh, thank you very much, guys. See you next time.